Don't start fighting over sweets. Oh Bougie, she's eating your bloody carbonara. Oh, for God's sake. Hello. But nuts, mate. Fucking nutter, mate. Well, good morning. How are we all? It's a beautiful sunny day. It doesn't get much sun out here, but I'm gonna quickly, I've just swept up in here. My God, since I pressure washed it, we must have a lot of moss on the roof, even though I had my roof done last year. There's loads of moss. Oh, there's like bird poo all over there. I think they aim for white walls, don't they? And then Tayton decided it would be a good idea to just melt a lolly on the floor, as you do. The cat decided she's too cool for the litter tray yesterday and peed all over this. So, I don't know what's, I think she's on heat. But I want to pressure wash that rug that she peed on when I wasn't well. So, I the door. So I'm gonna quickly clear this up. You all right, huh? Yeah, okay. I decided to give out here a, a little bleach. So I'm just gonna do it half and half. I've already started pressure washing this, but it just looks manky. So I'm going to let that sit for five and then wash it off and then do the other side. Okay, so the rug is out. If any seagull shit, I'm going to be fuming. She's got lots of cleaning stuff on. So the stuff that's already come out of it just with the water is disgusting. So I'm going to give her a good scrub, a dub dub. So I managed to get the rest of out here done. Oh, dogs are going to chase the birds. So it looks, other than the rubbish that I've got to get rid of, looks so much better than it did. The rug is drying. Oh God, that's nearly dry. I've had, God, I scrubbed this for about nearly an hour. That side's a bit wet. I might turn it over actually and try and get the bottom side dry. But yeah, it's come up really good. It's just peace of mind because I knew the cat weed on it. Right, I've turned that over so that side can dry. So it's just getting the garden furniture out now. I need to wash all the cushions for the chairs, get the umbrella out. That corner still needs doing, but there's a moose of spider that lives down there and her we ain't friends, I ain't going near it, so I'll have to get one of the lads to do that because uh, that's not, not for me. Bougie, every time I put this camera on you, you're doing your ablutions. Is it ablutions? Or is that wash ablutions washing your face? I don't know. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Such a nice day. Who's this, you may ask? Dressed? No dressing gown oh i shouldn't be giving you any more updates but i've just picked up my <laughs> none of the kids are here so i'm gonna tell you i've had a plaster on all last night and this morning oh my god it's been so sore so i took the plaster off i went like i've oh got to be careful i went like that to look and it exploded like i don't know if you can see all down my top so i went to the bathroom and it was disgusting in it i lent over the sink and was like pushing it with tissue and it was just filling all this like infection was like filling the sorry i've had some toast before filling the sink so i've been on antibiotics since thursday we're now on monday it's not getting any better it's, like that was bad that was bad. So I've rung ENT. She's going to let the doctor know and let me know. This is the second lot of antibiotics. I can see them saying they're going to have to open it back up again, you know. I felt tired today, but I've cracked on. I'm trying not to move my head. I'm trying to get some air to it, but I'm just, oh my God. Like I've never seen anything like it. It was bad. The lighting's not the best. But um, yeah, I rang ENT and she just went, I'll tell the doctor. Didn't hear back. So I've just nipped up to A&E quickly just to get it checked. They said there is still a bit of an infection there. But they think that when I had the hematoma after the, the 
operation and all that swelling he said that what did he say he said that mixes with fluid in your body and the blood mixes with fluid and that's what's escaping so i don't know i'm just glad to be out of there i really want a hot dog i'm craving a hot dog i think i could manage one so i'm gonna get home and have a hot dog <laughs> oh god right show us your artwork so i did i listen in school i'll listen which is a mental health charity isn't it yes and you drew yourself and what you like and what did you write i wrote i'm good at vr and i like my family oh that is lovely and then all the other kids had to write something nice about you on the other page is that right yeah but i it's like the whole class thing so there's a bunch of funnies there's a kind cool uh good at drawing kind friend and somebody yeah definitely uh george wrote sigma what does sigma mean <laughs> it's this sigma means like it's what it's like a face show it's me like a face oh <laughs> I can't do that because I can't pout my lips. Do it again for me. Do your impression of me at the minute. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's not good. Mum, I'm you. Okay, and then show us this one. So here is regular blob, cat blob, and kid blob. Yeah. Minecraft blob, cute blob, and king blob. Snake blob. A spider blob and alien blob, bat blob and extra fat blob. I thought he was spider blob. No, he's spider blob. Oh, right. Since he has more than two eyes. Can maybe say big blob and large blob, not fat blob. I call this one fat blob. No, don't say that. It doesn't sound very nice. How big? How about big boy blob? Big boy blob. And then big blob. Big big and big boy blob. That and, sounds better. And then, since King Blop is... Blop. Since, King Blop. Since King Blob is so royal, I thought I should make him a castle, but instead of it being called King Blob Castle, it's called Blob Tower. Blob Tower. So, so far we got only King Blob and Dumb Blob. Why is he a Dumb Blob? Because look at him. Who's on the roof? That's the statue of King Blob. Oh, that's cute. So you said your kid Blob. Ella is... Cute Blob. Cute Blob. Mia is Alien Blob. Right. Your Queen Blob. Right. Actually, all of the viewers out there and you are queen blobs. Oh, we're all queens. What about the men that are watching? You all are king blobs. Oh, all the men are kings. All the girls queens. Actually, Love that. I'm king blob. Oh, but Titan's the king of king blobs. No, you're the queen of queens. I'm the king of kings. Oh, right. Okay. And why is there a dumb blob? Why is he dumb? Because... He isn't actually part of the blob, and he's not small because he has a small head. He's got a small head. <laughs> and because that he's not in the shape of a blob. Right, okay. So that sort of messes he. And tell me what you learned with our lesson. What did they teach you? I learned that being kind is something that you can learn and if you don't learn it then your personality won't be that good right that's clever isn't it and what else come closer should i get to the science the science they taught you about sex oh no i the mental health charity didn't teach you about that did they no but i mean what the science is for the next few days. Oh, your science at school is about SEX. 
What are they saying about it? They're like teaching us about it. Like what? They're teaching us about it. But what about it? They're speaking about puberty. Oh, that's okay. They showed pictures of penises and vaginas. What? That's... You're only nine. We didn't learn that till we were 13, surely, Elle. Mm -hmm. We were in secondary school when we learned about no, I that. I did it in year six. He's only year five, though. Yeah. Go away. Mum, tell him. Tayton, stop nicking her sweets. Stop, stop. stop it. Tell him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> he has grabbed about ten of mine. Tell him I can have... Yeah, you give your sister one of yours. No, not one. Two. Four. Two. No. He's took ten of mine. Yeah, but yours are smaller. Bougie, she's eating your bloody carbonara. Oh, for God's sake. Now you're sweetless, carbonara -less. Come on, share with your sister. Three. No. Let me grab them myself. Two. I don't want your fucking sweaty hands on them. Ella, no. don't swear. Three. No. Yes. Mm -mm. Just have two, because they are big sweets. Better be careful about you put them. Very careful what you say. Right, that's enough now. Or what, brother? You are right. Well, she will be. Now she's had a face full of carbonara. Bougie! So you have to not mind the mess of the kitchen, but I don't know what to cook for tea. So I put three chicken breasts in the oven, and then I put a pasta on. Years ago, when the kids were little, I used to do pasta in sauce, but I just used to use chicken soup pasta with chicken soup so I thought what I'm gonna do is I've got chicken and chicken and mushroom salt and pepper oregano chicken seasoning and mozzarella cheese so I thought if I cook the chicken breasts up Peyton's gonna have one of them I'll dice the other ones with the pasta and add the soup add the seasoning add the salt and pepper put it all in a dish put loads of I've uh, got mozzarella and extra ch mature cheddar. I'll put those on top of the dish and then put it in the oven for like 20 minutes. It'll just be soft for me to eat and it's something quick and easy. So yeah, that's what we're going to have tonight. I thought we'd have a little catch up without my mush so close to the camera. Because I'm always holding it like that. Ella. I've just treated us to lunch. We had jacket potato. Well, I had jacket potato. Ella had carbonara. Jess had a. Excuse me. Ella's left her carbonara there. That's going to be very wonky. Hopefully, that's not too wonky. This uh, tripod thing doesn't lift up as high as my other one. Hi, Boosh. I thought I'd give you a little. Just a little life catcher. I've decided to have a little glow up because obviously I can't do anything with my face. So I've booked in to get my nails done, a luxury pedicure, get my brows done, get my lashes done. I just thought I need a little glow up. The other thing is Tate and my little Tatey. I don't know if I've ever explained before, but Tate and suffers with separation anxiety. That they do think he has ADHD. They, they think he, ha yeah, they think he has ADHD. However, it's an 18 month wait or something for the testing over here and they have to miss uh, they <sighs> Come on, you can speak today. They have to meet certain criteria and to be tested, he has to have separation anxiety, tick. He has to have um, missing school or problems in school, tick. And there was a third one that I can't remember, but I know it was a tick. It pisses me off a little bit, you know what I mean? If he has ADHD or he doesn't have ADHD, it makes no difference to me. It's We're all pretty certain he does, but I wouldn't medicate Tayton. I would never want Tayton to not be Tayton. I wouldn't want to take away his Taytonness, and that would be a decision for him. You know, he's not a bad child in any way. He's hyper and he's sensitive and there is some like little issues with him but the main thing is his, his separation anxiety is the main thing he will not sleep on his own 
and this is something that I'm gonna have to change because he's nearly 10 now. And before, it was always his sister's rooms. He would be, you know, disappearing off into his sister's rooms or he'd wake up in his own bed in the night and then go off into his sister's rooms. But since Mia's been with Jordan, Jordan now lives here. He doesn't really go up to Ella's room because, and sometimes Jess is here or Ella's at Jess's. He ended up migrating down to my bedroom. And then since I've had my operation, I obviously couldn't have him sleeping in my bed so his mattress has ended up in my room and he's just sleeping on his mattress and it's no good for him it's no good for me he's wrecking my room he's already broke my blinds he's ate a jar of lip scrub you know sugar lip scrub like from Lush I only bought it a few weeks well I bought it when I went away to Scotland he's ate the whole thing he needs to be in his own room and I keep broaching it with him and I know you might think I'm soft and yeah I am soft but at the end of the day with Tate his father it's difficult his dad left him when he was two walked away from him when he was two come back for a couple of months when he was three just turning three I think it was and then went off when I had Tayton I had a severe hemorrhage with Tayton and I couldn't hold him I was very very unwell and I couldn't hold him for the first 12 hours and he had such a bond with his dad like I can't fault his dad when his dad was around his dad did everything with him they had such a great bond i'll have to go into the story one time maybe but i was due to marry this man and i ended up calling off the wedding and we split up yeah i don't i don't want to slate his dad really in any way but his dad likes the drink more than anything else uh, and we were together for a lot of years and we did get on really well but to him you know whatever goes on between me and you don't leave that boy because it was affecting him at the age of two you know it really was affecting him and he did he left and hasn't had anything to do with Tate and since and it's caused a lot of issues for Tate in the way that the separa separation anxiety is very bad you know what I mean he's such a good kid he's such a loving kid a very sensitive lad and I am a family of girls. My mum had, well, my extended family, like my mum's and my dad's side are huge, like so many cousins, boys and girls. But my mum had two girls and then I had two girls and then I ended up having Tayton late actually. I was 34 when I had Tayton. He is, he's a spoiled little boy in a way and he's the apple of my eye and he has such a great relationship most of the time with his sisters especially Mia Ella likes to wind him up he's my baby my last baby as well so I'm soft with all the kids like ridiculous ridiculously soft sometimes but yeah so the separa separation anxiety is is quite bad with him I can't take him to school because if I take him to school I have to physically push him into the classroom or I'll turn around I'm, I walk you know I'll leave him I'll start walking home I turn around and he's behind me he's following me home so we've had meetings at school and that his sister takes him to school Ella takes him to school because Ella takes no shit Ella's just like you're going in and he knows he won't win with Elle. <laughs> he knows he can't win. You know, we spend a lot of time together and Saturdays are usually our days where, well, they were before Mia and Jamie split up and now Jamie takes him on a Saturday, but we'd go out and go on adventures all the time together, just me and him. So we are very close, but you know, he's in year five, he's about to go into year six in September. And then that's only one year left of primary school and then he'll be going on to big school to secondary school and you know so it's a, it's it's time so we're, i think i'm gonna have a little bit of difficulty with that getting him into his own bed but yeah i wanted to keep you updated that i'm gonna have a little bit of a glow up so i will bring you with me one sec sorry that was jamie on the phone oh hello Hello, every time I'm on video, you want to cuddle, don't you? Hey, you do? Uh, yeah, every time I go and film the rest of this video, there's more crap behind me, Tayton's in from school. He's dumped his coat and his lunchbox. So, I've just gone and checked the rug. I've got a sneaky suspicion. It's got shit on it. But I'll be able to wipe that off. I'm just letting the last bit dry and then I'll check it. But I've seen a nasty little yellow mark and I don't think it belongs to the rug. So, Bougie, stop kicking Cammy in the head. Stop it. 
yeah, but what I was saying going back to Tayton is also he um, struggles with a lot of foods, textures, things like that he struggles with. He was really good as a baby. He'd have a go at everything, but as soon as he got to like four, maybe five, if it hits his mouth, it's not like he's just skipping and you know doesn't like the taste of it he will bring the whole contents of his his stomach up he's what we call pale food you know he'll eat junk he will eat smoothies he'll eat hummus and crackers uh he'll eat porridge which surprised me but getting anything in him is such hard work and also he if you find something that he likes, he's very into Lego, luckily, and if you buy him a Lego, he will build that Lego and not stop until it's done. And if you like something on TV, he will obsess, he will, if, he will watch it and live it and breathe it and, you know, you have to, what's wrong with my phone today? One sec. I don't know who that is, so I'm just gonna let it ring out because I don't recognize the name. All right, cut off then. If anyone's seen True Romance, it's one of my favourite films and that's the soundtrack to it. I just enjoy the music, but not this much, so go away. Really keen, isn't it? Really keen. I probably, I oh know I can't even get, well I might get copyrighted, so. Anyway, so yeah, like I say, he will live and breathe 24 seven, whatever it is he's interested in. If he'll fixate on something and that's it, you know what I mean? You can't get him off it. If he goes through stages, sometimes it's Lego, sometimes it can be something on YouTube where he will watch it and that's it, it's in his head. Or a game, if he gets fixated on a game or something, you know what I mean? You have to drag him away. I'm not hungry, he doesn't want to eat, he doesn't want to do anything but that thing and then gets very... <laughs> this is gonna be hard to say. <laughs> frustrated, oh, very frustrated, wow. That was a hard one. Um, If he can't, you know, if you take him away from that, so there's a lot of signs of ADHD. He's a funny little one, but he's so sweet. He's so kind, he's so sensitive. Good morning. I've literally just made myself some breakfast. It's not exciting at all. Oh, my hair's not sitting right. It's not exciting at all, but I'm wanting to lose another four pound in the next couple of weeks. Well, I actually want to lose another at least. I'd like to lose another stone in all honesty, but then four pound, I'm, I want to get to four pound and then I'm not very good at counting my calories and that and because I can't go to the gym at the minute, you know, it's too much at the minute. So my yogurt, this, my yogurt, my breakfast <laughs> this morning is just yogurt and flax seeds. Flax seeds are supposed to be really, really good for you, especially women for like hormonal and stuff like that. That's what we're having today. So I've got my pedicure today, which I will probably take you with me. I did speak to Jay about the birthday card that came from the murderer. And he was like, yeah, don't worry, he's not a creep. Um, and he wrote your address in front of me. So I was like, I can't be mad because it's such a lovely sentiment, but please do not let anyone know my address and of all the people to pick, you could have picked anyone else. I just don't think they think. You know what I mean? I don't think, perhaps their minds go a bit numb in there, I don't know, but sweet sentiment, but yeah, I'd prefer not but yeah what can you do so I take it all in my stride that's okay oh I washed the rug didn't I yesterday pressure washed the rug oh it's come up like a shiny pin let me show you it's literally come up so clean I used to have this one in my living room and the darker gray in here like that one was over here this one was over there but Putting this one down just lightened up this whole area. It felt like with a darker grey rug, it just kind of gave it a block with the floor being so light. So this one really suits this area, I think. I can't even remember where I got it from. I've had it since we moved in. Some kind of rug company, I don't know. I have got another lighter one and a matching runner to go out there. But for now, 
I do actually like this rug. This one's going to be the next one to clean. I do actually like this rug. It's actually got the Chanel sign underneath this coffee table. It's quite nice. It's just calm for me. And I like it at the moment, but I will eventually swap it over. Right, I have just dropped my top out there, I think. I've just come to get my pedicure. Looking forward to it, actually. I love my feet getting done. A little bit of a pamper. So yeah, I'll film somewhere we're in there, either on my camera or my phone. One of That's my door there. I'll show you. My little room. Give us this sofa. It's so lovely. I didn't get to film any of that. I don't I don't know if you love it or hate it. I love it, but when you go to different salons, some have like a pedicure bar where you've got your handbag next to you. This one, first time ever, I was actually on a massage table with like the bath put on the massage table, you know, the foot bath and stuff like that. It was a little bit like different. So my bag was the other side of the room. So I couldn't film anything. Normally I have my handbag next to me if you like sat on a chair, a nail chair or whatever. So couldn't film any of it. But I will show you when I get in. I've gone for the white, you know, the Tipex white look. And I'm going to get, I'm getting my nails done Friday. Yeah, nails done Friday. So I'm going to go matching. I can't have not matching. I don't know if anyone else. I'll either paint my fingernails and forget about my toenails and just leave. But if I've got... My toenails painted, they have to be, my fingernails have to be the same, you know. It's like a matching underwear situation, but that doesn't, I, that doesn't bother me. Do you know what I mean? The match, I don't have to have matching underwear, but I do have to have matching nails. But nuts, mate. Fucking natter, mate. Anyway, gonna go home. Look how cute. If anyone hates feet, I'm sorry. Hello. So I went for the, my, my floor needs hoovering, but... I went for like the Tipex white look. She didn't put a top coat on. I didn't realise till I got home, so I might put a top coat on myself. Does anyone hate feet? Raw, raw. <laughs> we are graced with the gorgeous Ella this morning, who's going to help me tidy up. Good morning, Ella. Good morning. <laughs> you always go so shy in front of the camera. Oh, what have you got there? What have I got here? Just <laughs> a little coffee. Iced coffee. And what have I told you about the glass? To keep it, because it's my favourite glass. No, not to keep it, to throw it, because it's got a crack in it. No. And uh, the mixture of the hot coffee and... I'll put the coffee in first, put the ice in first. Yeah, but the mixture of hot and cold, it'll just, it'll smash eventually, and I don't want it smashing all over you. Well, no. Okay. Right, that's all the floors scrubbed. Looks so much better when it's tidy. If anyone's got any tips, because for my floor, I have to, um, well, I don't have to, but I hoover or I sweep. Then I'll mop. I do a steamer on it once a week because I've got underfloor heating, so that's okay. I can get away with putting a steamer on it and in my mop it's just a tiny bit of fairy up liquid I can't use anything on it they do come up absolutely lovely but there's nothing better than just getting a microfiber cloth and soapy water and washing it all down but you know there's quite a lot of floor in here so if anyone has any tips on how to keep these a bit more sparkly I mean they are great don't get me wrong but I've found that only fairy up liquid hot water works to keep them clean no harsh chemicals because it upsets the marble i've tried a little bit of seflora it's literally a drip of washing up liquids otherwise they go streaky but yeah i also painted this wall so now with the now with the skirting board all done and this wall all painted it looks so much better and i also took off i had those mirror things there didn't i and i didn't want them there Still got the paint and stuff on the side there. So now it's just the vase and the sticks. It just looks so much better. For the minute, I've put that plant outside 
and I've put my lamp there, but I have ordered an olive tree to go there, fake one obviously, but I've ordered an olive tree to go there, which will look sweet. So that lamp will probably have to go back into that corner. But yeah, like I say, any tips on the floor, but they are a nightmare. Being white, they're an absolute nightmare. They have to be done every single day. So I'm going to say a quick goodbye now. God, I look pale. I'm in a lot of pain today. I've got quite a bit of drippage going on. Here's a mesh. Yeah, I'm, I'm in quite a bit of pain today. My jaw is is bad so i'm just gonna pot around i've got a few bits i need to do so yeah as usual thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one